Hey everyone, so we have some more um, information here on Ninjago 2016. Now, um, I, I'm not going to say these are all official descriptions or anything like that. These are just um, what um, apparently just Hugo Eurobricks has um, um, seen. You know, he, you know um, he's, he can obviously be trusted um, because, you know, um, he does have a, um, if you've ever seen his YouTube channel, he does some good reviews and all that stuff, you know. Um, yeah, but I feel like this is a trusted source and the descriptions seem like you couldn't just be making up random stuff. So, um, you know, these descriptions seem pretty real to me and I know there's probably, I think, I think there is like pre, um, preliminary photos or something like that, you know, like the unofficial photos of the sets out now. Um, I don't know where the heck they are, but, um, people are seeing them and these are descriptions of what, um, he saw. Um, apparently he saw them somehow. I don't, I don't know how. I don't know where these are from or anything. But um, these descriptions seem pretty interesting. So um, I will just read you guys here his descriptions of some of the new Ninjago 2016 sets um, coming. So, um, but here we um, he says Miss Fort Keep looks um, awesome and very much like a pirates set because there's like a pirates theme. So. Um, obviously pirates are the main goal here and of course you know I don't really know it, it seems like the villains may be pirates I know what I said in my most previous video will they not have the villain role maybe they will I think they might um, but you know I feel like the pirates would be more advanced and different than a normal pirate so maybe that's what they meant um it looks like there are new specialized BURP I don't know what the, that actually stands for pieces um um, in that set, it looks like there is a samurai figure, something like that. Um, a little hot air balloon with Wu, Kai, and a little pirate guy on a jetpack. Pirate guy. So, obviously, we got the ninja, and we got pirates. So, pirates are the enemies. Um, this is, I mean, even, I mean, obviously, I feel like these pirates are going to be different than you would think. You know, different than you would normally think of a pirate. You know, you think of a pirate on their ship um on the sea and all you know you know and all that stuff but i feel like they're gonna be much this is this is gonna be much different than a, just a normal ordinary pirate these are gonna be like um totally different than you would ever expect from a pirate but um j is the little bo um box corner logo it is basically confirmed now j will be on the corner logo on ninjago um season six um 2016 wave so it seems like um, 2016 season six may be focusing on Jay, and this was a rumor or a guess from a little while back now. But now there is more evidence that Jay will um, have more of a bigger role next season, and that would be really cool. Jay's never really had an official season to focus on him or his story. You know, there's always been one with like Zane or you know Kai had the first two episodes. Um, Lloyd has had a lot of seasons. Um, Zane's had a lot of um, time. So, I mean, I feel like it's good that they're going to put some of the other ninja, um, you know, to have their time and to show more of the story and focus on them a little more. So, it's very cool. Um, okay, the, they don't specifically say the um, set names, but do the set numbers. 70605 is a flying jet, a little... Like a little bigger uh, version of the Orange Ninjas, um, a little jet, um, I, I, I don't know, I think it might be like that little um, glider or something that Skylar was on, he, he says Orange Ninja, from the 2015 mix with a pirate ship. So it's like a little jet, flying jet thing um, with a pirate ship. So pirate ships, ships will some um, be playing a role in the season. I really like ship sets, they look really, really cool. That's why I really, really like the Destiny Spawning. It's one of my favorite sets. Or the new one. The new one looks more advanced. Um, there is a neat ramp as well. It includes Lloyd on some flying jetpack machine that's big. So, flying. Skybound. It seems like a lot of this pirate ninja fighting stuff will be taking place in the skies. So, um, skybound. They're going skybound. So, um, yeah. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what all this means. Um... Um, two to three mi villain minifigures in Jay. So villain minifigures, you know, he th it looks like it's pirates to him. Um, here we have seven zero six zero three is a long pirate ship. I and this is I, I'm really looking forward to this already, and I haven't even seen it. Um, I really like the ships, and they look, always look really cool. 
um, is a long pirate ship that reminds me a bit of a Vikings long ship. So I cannot wait for that. It sounds really awesome. With a medium sized Zeppelin piece that looks new. It says, um, includes Zane and a samurai pirate villain and a green villain. You know, it's not like you can um, get details. He's just um, describing on what he sees. Um, 70601 is a very um, interesting looking ship. It's not like another ship. It looks like a jet with pirate elements on it. So, you know, he's not too specific, but gives us a few details on what he saw. Um, I, he says he thinks it includes coal and a green villain. You know, he doesn't know what to call him yet or anything like that. Um, on a flying thing. So he doesn't have much detail yet, but he's just describing what he saw. 70600 includes Nia. It's like a small set as well. And it includes Nia, Kai, and a flying pirate. A flying pirate, flying stuff. We've, seen, we've heard about, we continue to hear this flying stuff. So next season will somehow take place in the skies um, with something. So I'm very interested to see that, see what will happen with that. Um, a flying pirate, so same as Miss Fort. Um, I don't think that's final, you know, I don't know. Um, Kai and Nia have cycles. So Kai and Nia will have a cycle apparently, or like a vehicle on the ground, you know, like a bike. Um, motorcycle sort of vehicle you know um, that'll be cool to see um 70599 includes a very small brick built dragon that looks great it has coal and a pirate so we actually in the first set names and the prices that were sort of revealed um we guessed that you know it was a dragon set but it was really small so i don't know if this would be considered coal's elemental dragon or not i don't think it will be i think it'll be something that will come into the season and then you know coal will just ride it um, but I do not think this is going to be his dragon because, you know, they can't make it small. It'd be weird. So, um, I feel like it will be some other random little dragon that comes into the season to help out or something. And he has 70602. Includes a brick-built dragon. Blue with J. J. J's elemental dragon. I'm sure this is probably what it is, especially with the name that we got, um, later on, J's elemental dragon. So it seems like we will officially be getting a J Elemental Dragon. I'm really looking forward to that. It looks awesome. And obviously if J is like the main corner focus on the box and if he's the focus in the season, why not bring his Elemental Dragon into the sets? Um, why not make it, you know, focus on J? So I'm um, very interested in this. And that also looks great. Now this, I'm very, very confused or um, I'm very curious on what he means here. And Toxikita on a flyer. Toxikita is the name of the po Master of Poison. Um, that's her name in the Ultra Agent set. And that's what he would call it because I don't think he watches the show that much. Um, but Toxikita, you know, they call her Tox. So Toxikita. Um, that, I think this is what he's meaning. First of all, she's an Ultra Agent's minifigure. So it's very weird that she would be in a Ninjago set. And this can also mean, will the Elemental Masters actually be coming back in Ninjago Season 6? Texakita is the Master of Poison. An Elemental Master. So, um, I'm just curious here, will, will the Elemental Masters be coming back? Um, I really hope so. I mean, the, the Elemental Masters were awesome. They really, really were. But again, I don't think if some came back, I don't feel like all of them would come back because um, they said at the Comic Con they do not like to have too many characters on the screen. Um, like, because Tournament Elements is pretty crowded with um, characters if you think about it. Um, they don't like to have too many characters on screen um, like that. So they like they, they like to lower it down so they can fit the characters on screen time and all that. So, but will we actually begin to get other Elemental Masters in the sets? And will they be coming back in the show? I don't know. These are just very um, small details on what he saw, guys. So do not take um, everything seriously with this yet. Um, these are just what he saw so far. Um, I'm sure images will come out soon, but again, I can't, if, when those, if these images leak or come online, I cannot show you guys a video with those images because they are not the official images and LEGO does not want them actually out there. Um, but, um, I will make a video telling you guys um, they are out and I may um, make like put some links to actually go view them um, if I find a link to do that but right now we have these descriptions I know this is a long video 
but um, I really wanted to like go in detail on what I thought about each one of these things, each one of the sets he described. So right now, what I'm getting from this is Jay will be the main focus ninja in Ninjago Season 6. That was already rumored and guessed from the start. So, I mean, it's not like a big surprise now. I mean, we it's kind of like more confirmed now than ever. Um, and, you know, um, just some of the sets, some of the, like the villains. Um, I did mention in my most previous video um, that would the villains play the villain role? It seems like they will, but I feel like when they said um, it's something like we've never seen before, I still feel like it would be like that. I feel like it's going to be like pirates. It's going to be pirates, but... It's, they're going to do something or be different. And it's going to be something that we've never seen before. You know, so they always like to have the villains very unique and different than you would normally think. Like Captain Soda's pirates were just pirates, you know. But these, these characters, these villains could be more advanced or technologically advanced. You know, they could have like actual like um, machines or fly around, you know, skybound, you know. And they can do lots of crazy things. They, they they literally like to make the villains as weird and different as they can. Um, and I'm sure that's what they'll do with these pirates that are um, more and more um, seen, rumored. And I think they will be the main villain now. But um, very interested to see what these photos will look like. And um, yeah, well, um, I know this is a long video, but what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this new descriptions? Again, I will make more videos um, on when more information does come out. But, um, yeah, what do you guys think about this? And, um, I know it's a long video, but, um, I'm very excited for Ninja Season 6. Especially because it's going to focus, um, most likely on Jay.